Management of Media Trust, and this award goes to Ayuba. Who is the highest oh, proudly! <laughs> so this is well deserved. Bajang, yeah. congrats! Congratulations! Our championship award goes to Trust TV. The winners of the competition. Honestly, the truth is we play as a team and when you play as a team you achieve a result. So that's what we just did. We play as a team, we follow the instructions and we get victory. I'm really happy and elated to be here, to see everyone around to participate in this very first edition of this. And uh, we are highly encouraged as management and will continue to promote this kind of event. What I saw today has actually gingered me more than ever before um, to continue to bring about this kind of thing within the organization. Um, what we tried to do was to say people should come, select the team. It doesn't matter whether you are on Trust TV or Trust Radio or Daily Trust. 
it's all about togetherness and that's what I saw today. It's all about so good and nice there. Media Trust Chairman scored the football competition that happened just yesterday between all the four arms that actually make up the group. They are a good one for the fact that that event took place and that uh, Team Trust TV is scooping it out. First edition of the Media Trust Chairman Cup in the studio with me is uh, Olawali Peters. Good to have you. Yeah, it's my pleasure being here. I call you the coordinator. You. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and it's a very good match and a very good competition. I hope the Super Eagles will learn a lot from mm. the players. They're like, what the highest goal scorer Ayuba said, it's all about teamwork. It's all about playing as a unit. It's all about coordination, communication, and concentration. That's the reason why they are able to score 12 goals in three matches, and they consider only one goal. Mm. So that shows that they really went for the competition as a team. And part of the activities, the reason why this competition was held is to see how everybody can come together in bonding and you can't talk about uh, bonding activities without talking about teamwork communication and help i mean helping one another so i think it's a it's, it's a very 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 good one and um, i'm not surprised about the display of raw talent uh, from the players sincerely and that is why we've been saying times without number that if we can get ourselves together in this country we have what it takes to dominate not only Africa, in fact, the world, when you're talking about sport in general, especially the game of football. From the 32 players that played yesterday, I can belt you, I have seen about four or five of them that they are fit enough to represent this country, either at under 17, 21, or 23. Because they have what it takes to do that. But would they allow them to get there? No. Because of what? Because of what we have currently are playing at the NFF and Super Eagles, Flying Eagles, Golden Eagles. I think it's a very, very good one. And uh, I'm confident if um, there will be a competition for the media uh, organization in Nigeria, Media Trust Group will be the team that yeah. everybody wants to be because we have what it takes to be the champion. Like you just mentioned there, that you, you actually saw about five talents that could make a team. I, I saw that uh, MVP, Mujahid, Shitu, and also two of the players in the Team Trust TV, that's uh, Ayuba Kefas, alongside the other player, uh, which I don't know his name, but really, uh, if you look at those guys, they play like a team, as if they've been playing for years. And uh, the ball connection between them, even though they're just uh, a few inside that particular pitch, but they play as if they've been a team for like 15. And that's like what you have just mentioned, uh, that compact. They show that compactness, they show that, okay, uh, whatever it takes, even though we walk, but we can still play this uh, game of soccer. Uh, aside the fact that you mentioned those five, I also saw a goalkeeper, <laughs> the goalkeeper of uh, yeah, Armenia, or the uh -huh. Daily Trust goalkeeper, really shook. In fact, he saved Daily Trust in Daily Trust. <laughs> they will have conceded like 15 goals yesterday. <laughs> yes, and um, you can see what they are doing. They are doing it for form. Now let's take it. I mean, let's take it a step further. If they are doing it to represent their country and they have the required training, mm. they get the required um, exposure that they, in fact. It's very, very fantastic. Then about um, Ayuba Kefas, I'm not really surprised because um, I, I happen to be his coach and which um, I've known him for two years and thereabout. Mm. And he has been a fantastic player. He has what it takes. Mujahid also, we saw what he did. He scored four goals and made three assists. And all the teams, none of them have played together before. That will be the first time that they are coming up to, to play. So that's the reason why we say the excuse that the Super Eagles are giving us, that uh, it's because they came late to yeah, the camp, yeah, yeah. they cannot, <laughs> no, they have what it takes. Once you are a professional in your own field, what you just need is someone to coordinate. Mm. And that is the job of a coach. Unfortunately, we don't have that in the Super Eagles currently now. So that is why they are wumbling and fumbling. As far as I'm concerned, I think we have what it takes. We just need to go down into the grassroots. If you go deeper into the grassroots, we can get the best players that will represent this country in terms of um, all sporting activities, football, volleyball, handball, swimming, taekwondo, just name it, we have it. Mm. And finally, before we are done with this particular story, you, uh, you were there as the referee and also the coordinator. Looking at the team, the four teams, Team uh, Trust TV, Team uh, Daily Trust, Team Armenia, and also uh, Team Trust Radio, which team you are draw the best? Aside the fact that uh, Trust TV won the competition, but performance-wise, cohesiveness of a team and every other thing attached to it to form a team. Okay, if Team Armenia, they, uh, um, they can borrow a leave 
<clears throat> from Trust TV. Mm. They will have been the best team because if you look at the compact of their game, they play more like um, they play more tic tac style of football, but they don't have a point man that can really, mm. I mean, turn the the passes All the activists to goals. To goals. So that's the only thing that they are really lacking. And then communication also, they lack that communication. When their goalkeeper considered the first goal, everybody you started blaming, blaming him. him. So I immediately decided blaming him. He, he got demotivated. He even got to his stage. I said, I want to change. I don't want to continue. <laughs> the, game. the attack is on me. So, yeah, the attack is on him. So that war really um, cost the Armenia by coming second. If not, they have what it takes to have won the competition. But if you look at the Trust TV team, okay, apart from the individual player that they have, they are well coordinated. They don't do this game blaming that, oh, you're supposed to pass to me. And they have a point man, and their point man is Ayuba. So what they do is, whatever ball that they have, they are always looking for their point man. I know what to do to do this calling. So I think uh, Team Aminia should have been the best team, but unfortunately they didn't get it together. But there's uh, hope for another time. So, uh, so automatically now, Team Trust TV play like Napoli for Osime. <laughs> <laughs> While uh, Team Aminia play like Super Eagles, blaming uh, Okoye, okay, maybe, <laughs> goalkeeper. Maybe they play like Arsenal. Arsenal. Yeah. Oh my goodness, what brought Arsenal to this now? <laughs> just to let you have a feel of what happened just yesterday. Media Trust Chairman's Cup, Trust TV leaves made in a uh, trophy. And we'll continue to give you more concerning that. Hopefully, next one will be better than this. Although it's a good one, at least getting all the four teams together to play in Abuja and the best team actually won and the fact that uh, the togetherness like uh, the uh, group uh, uh, human resources money actually mentioned that the togetherness is the key bringing together all the players that participated away from there quickly let's talk about uh, basketball well we'll give you the story basketball Denver now get clinched first NBA title in a 4-1 series win over Miami Heat it was a fantastic performance from Denver Nuggets from Colorado for the fact that they were able to win this particular uh, NBA for this year after defeating Miami if they are 4-1 in the race of seven games to be played in the series but they made it uh, even at the fifth ma game they played good one for Jokic Nikola Jokic which is the Joker who did so well to get uh, Stan Kroenke, the man in blue suit. If you remember him, he also is also the owner of Arsenal. You can't take it away. Stan Kroenke right now has done well for himself by winning what he couldn't win with Arsenal in England. He has won it over there in the NBA to leave the NBA trophy. Maybe Arsenal will take a coup from this. <laughs> for the fact that they were able to hold on to it till the end. Good one for... Uh, the NBA winner, uh, Denver Nuggets, and you can't take anything away from Joe Kitch, who got the NBA, the NBA MVP for the final uh, in this game. Good one for them. Congrats to the Nuggets. 47 years they've been pursuing the NBA title for the first time in 47 years. They were able to win it. Talk about uh, resilient, talk about not giving up. And right now, according to their coach, Mark Malone, he said they are just beginning. That they are not satisfied with only this one. They want to win more. And I'm very sure that spirit is what a lot of our sportsmen really need. Yeah, it is. And it's kind of uh, <clears throat> something that, uh, just like you said, perseverance, mm. patience, and make sure you don't lose focus. And the fact that you didn't get it this year doesn't mean we will not get it next year. I, I just hope and I pray that uh, Arsenal quest for Champions League will not take the same 47 years. 47? It yes, won't be yes. like that. But, yeah, yeah, no, no. but from their existence, I've won it. So it's looking, it's looking closer to that 47 years, even if no matter. Because we're talking about Premier League now. Mm. It's over 20 years. Uh, okay, good. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Okay. That it's over 20 years that they've not won the Premier League. But right now, for Denver not get to get it at 47th year, yeah. there's nothing stopping us now from getting this year. Definitely. Um, that's why I said earlier that it's kind of uh, motivating for the Arsenal team that, okay, if um, our other team, the basketballer, they can able to achieve this first thing. Look at Chelsea, for example. It took Mourinho after 50 years before he can win the Premier League for mm. them. So definitely, Arsenal too, they have what it takes. But what they need to do is they just stop jubilating before, they their, suc before their success. Mm. Not that you have about four or five matches and you are just everywhere in town is Arsenal, Arsenal, Arsenal. Look at what happened at the end of this season. They lost, they lost, they lost it. Mm. Is there is there a trophy to win? And unfortunately, they they sleep when it matters most. 
I just saw that it's only 47 years, like you said. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, they'll get it right there. We've been talking concerning Denver Nugget winning the NBA for this season. Good one for the Colorado team and also for Nikolai Jokic right now. He is the man of the moment for what he has done with the entire squad, uh, breaking so many records there for Denver Nugget against Miami Heat. Away from there, let's talk football now. Well, the uh, Eagles, the Super Eagles, will be playing against you alone this weekend. And right now, the camp over there in Lagos is getting more. Uh, uh, at least bobbling as uh, 21 Eagles in camp ahead of the uh, tie against Leon Stars of Syria Leon. They'll be facing them over there in Moronvia uh, in that particular encounter. But right now as you speak, we have about 21 of them in camp uh, waiting for the arrival of Victor Simon, also uh, Bright or Saeed Samuel. But for those 21 players uh, we have in camp, let's just have a clip, uh, rather a glimpse of the list of those 21 players that will actually be in camp ahead of the game. Well, right now they are really playing together. Ekong is there. We have Luke La Demola, Aribo is there, it will be Bassi, Aja is also there, Akpoguma Kelvin, you have Kenneth Romero, Wilfred Indidi, Ihiana Cho, Awoni Simon, Adeleye is also there as goalkeeper, your own base player, Sochima, Olon Leke Ojo is also there, and you have Duru, who is also part of that squad. Four home base player were picked by Pizero this time around, and he picked 19 foreign base player, Samuel Divine and Oyeka in that particular squad. According to him, I want to make sure this team defeats uh, Surya Alon. We saw what they did in the first leg and right now they were playing away from home talking about Syria alone in Morombia and also the Super Eagles they need to win this game so that they can push forward before they face out and Principe. Okay uh, it's just so sad that uh, Super Eagles when they want to play any team in Africa now we don't have that confidence that we are mm -hmm. winning this match. Now winning the match is not really what it, it, I mean it doesn't really matter but we still don't have a style of play. That is what is clean our football. Look at the uh, flying eagles. The same thing affected them also. What they did was kick and follow. Anywhere belly face. That is what they did. And that is what is affecting our super eagles. Until we get it right from the super eagles coach, the technical crew, we can take it down to other um, category like the uh, golden uh, under 17, mm. under 21, the under 23. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not, I'm not particularly happy about what is going on when it comes to Nigerian football. Look at the list. You practically know almost everybody in there. So that is why other people, I mean, when you invite them, they'll feel like it's more like an automatic shirt for them. From this uh, list. list, you should have seen about 15 new players, majorly home based players, because we are playing Serie alone. We are not playing European team. So she use a player that they are used to African mentality, African mostly home based mostly home -based from what player. you are saying. Exactly. That was what killed us against Ghana. Our match against Ghana, you have played home based player. They are hungry for success. You'll have given Ghana a much given, difficult time. Yes, because we have almost the same pattern. But if you bring the likes of uh, Ademola, Lukman, Aribo, you will be Basi, Ajayi. Indeed, all of them, they got tired. Because they came about the climate, that the weather is too hot for them. But our players, eh, just like uh, the, the competition we had yesterday, mm. the, the, the media, media trust. trust, we played around 12, 12 noon. And nobody complained about the sun. So the same thing will have happened if we are playing against the foreign base. So I think what we need to do now is to, uh, to, to have a focus. How can we get a focus? We need to have a coach. We need to have a style of play. If I ask you now, what formation are we using in this country? I really don't know. 3-5-2, 4-4-2, 4-3-3. changes every time. It changes every time. But in those days, we know we are playing 4-4-2. That is why you have the likes of Finendi George and Mali Amunike on the flank. They will terrorize the defenders. Then you have the Austin, uh, Austin Okocha, you have Amokachi. They operate from the midfield. Mm. So they know what to do. They know how to distribute the ball. We have Sandy Olise, who play box to box as four. But we don't have that again in the Super Eagles. So now you want to play Serie A alone. I can be, I can, I'll be sincere with you. I don't have the confidence that we'll go there and get uh, the and three points. Them. And we can't continue doing on trial, on trial. Football is involving more than what we have currently now. I won't be surprised if they beat us or get a draw. So I think something really needs to really be done. The list, when I saw the list, I wasn't even happy about the list. Because these uh, qualifiers are the opportunity to give those people that believe they have an automatic shirt to come and fight and sweat for their shirts. Let them see that, okay, from these 21 people that are going, we have about 16 home based players. We have our own NPFL, we have the NL, NLL, we have the NNL. Are you telling that from this team, you cannot get a standard 11 
that can represent this country? Hmm. We have. But I don't really understand the reason why everything we have to go to Europe to bring them in Europe. I think it's, it's killing our football, and that is what is affecting the Brazilian football now. In those days, the Brazilian, the Brazilian players, they are, being, they are being picked from their own base. Uh, uh, Flamingo, what Corinthians. Uh, Corinthians, that is where they pick them from. But now, they go to England, they go to Spain, they go to France to pick those that are playing abroad. They are so making that so much names. Hmm. They, are, they are making names and noise. That's the truth. So when they now come together to now play their tiki taka style of football, it will be difficult for them. That is what is affecting us in the country also. Mm. Now, these boys, they will come in now, uh, today, tomorrow, we'll go to Sierra Leone. The weather will not be favorable to them. Before you know it, you will play draw, and the same thing happen. Come on, we have to do better than what we are doing. Mm. Well, we've been talking concerning so far, I guess they'll be facing the Lone Stars of Sierra Leone this weekend in Moravia, Liberia. But right now, according to Alara Peters, uh, the coach, uh, Coach Pizero, should have done better by getting, making sure he gets uh, those hungry players from our league to play this kind of football, uh, even though uh, we know that some of them also apply their trade, uh, trade abroad. But at least uh, the home base Eagles will give them a tough time uh, for them to be able to at least uh, defeat them. Right now, looking at that particular story transfer, that another one that has to do with the Pisero is now justifying the reason why he did not invite a gift or ban and also Victor Boniface. Both of them play in the Jupiler League of Belgium and they score about between them about 46 goals this season. And uh, some Nigerians are asking questions why not invite this uh, young lad? But for Pisero, he said, Well, uh, I can't invite everyone. And this uh, uh, the 19 player, I'm used to them. Uh, when he is scoring goals, this that was giving excuses, but just like you have said. Gift of Ban, Victor Boniface. Mm -hmm. Both of them score about 46 goals all together. Now, with plus assists and everything, about 56 there about, and now they are not being given the color, although that's not even the issue, but he's not trying to say, okay, this is the reason why I didn't call them. I have players that can do the job, and I'm used to them, and right now I want them to make sure they, they pick this ticket and all that. He was also talk, talking about flanks. I met Musa Opri from the flank, and these players, um, he's having a one knee there. He can only play three strikers and all that, but really, some Nigerians, you know, they pose that question that why not give this chance, uh, these guys, the opportunity to even be in camp with the Eagles? Okay, and just like I said earlier, and the, the problem we have lies with the coach. I see no reason why a player that made best 11 in Europe League hmm. would not be invited to his own country to represent his country. What excuse do you have? You cannot invite everybody. Yes, you cannot invite everybody, but you invite those that are informed. That is, if you want to go outside the country. Why did you invite Awoniye? Because he scored about four or five goals in the last three matches that he plays at Nottingham Forest. Is that the reason why you should not take him above a player that made top 11 in Europa? Hmm. There's no excuse. Until we have that, um, that open open camp to allow people okay for example allow everybody to come in just like you said what's stopping from allowing Boniface to come if you have Boniface we have our knee we have uh, a band uh, we have uh, oh, Osime. Osime. we have five or six strikers. We all fight for it all of them will know that this is not guaranteed for me so they'll put in their best but that is not the situation he doesn't have any excuse for not inviting him he's used to a particular player must you continue the player that you are used to what result have they given us have they won us anything no. So why didn't you try and change? Uh, there's no excuse and there's no reason why they didn't invite them. Sincerely. Oh, it's so painful. But uh, really, looking at look at Victor Boniface, he made the Europa League team of the season. Yeah. And we saw what Gift Oban did for his club. And uh, really, a lot of uh, Nigerian players, uh, these guys, uh, if you want to quantify their, uh, the performance that they performed this season, uh, aside of Sime, that is above them. These two players are far more outstanding than even more most of the players that is in that team. Although, well, uh, Pizero has actually done his bit. He's, he's the coach. Uh, <laughs> but it's always very painful by the time we get to play these games. And it's always a very tough one. Well, we want to appreciate your time with us, uh, the coordinator of, <laughs> <laughs> uh, coordinator of Team Arsenal. Team what? <laughs> Sincerely, if uh, Arsenal can come to Nigeria and play media trust team, I will tell you this for free. We are going to defeat them. I hope that will not on the 54 new. <laughs> <laughs> That's it on 360 Sport on Trust TV. With all our repeaters, thanks so much for coming on it's the show. It's my pleasure, Adeni. Thanks for having me. I'm Adeni Ajisha. Thanks for watching.